This town is lousy with ghosts. Walk around wide eyed. <gasps> Where am I? You're dead. And you're in Baghdad. Shut up. Anyhow, the other day I'm walking down the street, and the street is literally on fire. And I see this little girl, she's standing there, her life is like a soap bubble, and then pop! She's here. Looking at me. And she comes to me and she says, What are you? I say, I'm a tiger. Are you going to eat me? No, I'm going to be the children. Why? I don't know. I mean, we're working out this philosophy. See about sin and redemption and how God is apparently not. She just kind of looking at me like, oh. And I'm like, you think about it, right? If God is watching, then why are you standing here looking at me? Huh? Why are you standing here in a burning street with a dead tiger? Why is that your face gone? And she says, yeah, okay, but why aren't you feeding children? I tell her this bit about these two children in the forest and how I keep thinking about them, how I have all this guilt. She doesn't understand that. Of course she doesn't. She doesn't have any guilt. What did you ever do? She tells me she's afraid, and I tell her, well, here I am too. And you might think that that would be comforting, but being blown to bits and then coming face to face with the likes of me. Yeah, she starts crying. And I tell her, don't cry, and she starts crying even louder. And I tell her, do you want to see something? Why? She stops crying for a second. And I say, it's a garden. And now she says, wow, like big deal. Like I haven't seen a garden before. And I'm like, no. It's a special garden. And I don't know what happens to me. And I say, it's God's garden. See, God loves gardens. He loves to test us in them. He tempts us in them. He builds them up. And then he tears them apart. It's like his damn heartbeat. And she's skeptical. So I bring her here. And now she sees these plants, these animals. She's never seen anything like this before. And I nailed it. She's not crying anymore. She's walking around, pointing. A camel! An elephant! Oh. Lion! <laughs> Damn kids. And all this while I'm talking out of my ass. About God to God and etc. And maybe she knows it too. This girl is no dummy. Because she only has like half a brain. Anyhow. But for a second, we look up at these wooden shrubs and we think to ourselves, man, we work in mysterious ways, we get it. We get it. And for a moment I feel a spell of peace and hope. Then she turns to me and she says, Well, oh, when are you gonna get here? What? Well, God's garden, right? Uh, he must tend to it. Look, this the, the green is all burned. This, this I 
animal has lost its head. Well, what, what do you want me to tell her? I'm asking you to tell me because if you don't, then I'm going to have to watch her cry again. I'm going to have to watch that little single eye of her well up with tears and then her mind will fill up like mine did and then she'll understand the universe. And then her body, your soul, or whatever you've left us with will move on to other things. And then this moment, this one, that moment when she appraises a rude piece of beauty will be ruined and extinct. Just like you. Is that what you want? Say something! This animal has lost the head! Speak, God! Say something! Speak to her or to me or to someone! But speak! God! Speak! 